Sustaining our language is paramount to anyone's cultural identity, particularly for our smaller nations as we begin to see the effects of climate change. So my parents are first generation immigrants. They came to New Zealand with the most basic English. And so our first spoken words were Giribes. For the first five years of our lives, my siblings and I grew up predominantly speaking the Giribes language. From a young age, our father would always take us to all sorts of Giribes events or gatherings. He saw it as an opportunity for us to fully immerse ourselves in our culture and learn the language and traditions. Given Giribes is a small minority in New Zealand, we have always been a tight-knitted community. For most of us, our community became the only family we knew, despite no familial connection. The language was taught in many ways, whether it was through dancing, singing, or just being around each other. All of these have contributed significantly to my understanding and speaking of the Giribes language. With the possibility of Giribes no longer existing, our language will only be our connection to our culture. Therefore, it is pivotal to maintain who we are as e to ensure our language lives on through generations to come. <laughs>